Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. There are many incidents in the gospel where we see the Pharisees questioning Jesus with the sole objective of accusing him of blasphemy and violation of the law of Moses. They wanted to trap him but were always unsuccessful. In this passage, we see Jesus posing a question to the Pharisees which leave them red-faced and embarrassed because they were not able to give a proper reply. Jesus inquired to them as to whose son was Christ. As the common description of Christ or the Messiah in the Jewish scriptures was son of David, they promptly replied that Christ is the son of David. Jesus asked them, if Christ is the son of David, then why does he call him Lord? Jesus was quoting from the book of Psalm, chapter 110, verse 1, which says, The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand. The Pharisees had no answer to this and stopped questioning him thereafter. The answer to this question, however, is that even though Christ is the son of David and David was his forefather, David himself, with the power of the Holy Spirit, foresaw that his son was not a mere man and was a divine savior who would rule over the world and subdue all his enemies. The most important point to be noticed in this conversation with the Pharisees is that this is the reference to Jesus himself who is seated at the right hand of God. With all power and majesty and with all people under him. To sit at the right hand of God was to sit at the highest position of honor. As paragraph 664 of CCC says, being seated at the right hand of God signifies the inauguration of the Messiah's kingdom and the fulfillment of Daniel's vision concerning the Son of Man.